cookie shop and this one I actually let him do because cookies uh so in this video I'm super excited but I'm gonna wait for Porters to announce what's going on oh look he is giant box of chips ahoy okay okay just shove me to the side uh Porters you in there uh uh Porters Porters Oh, there you are, girl. Oh, uh, they, they can actually see you. Uh, uh, you know what today is. Uh, oh, that's so cute. Let me check the calendar. Oh, no. Okay. What? It's Groundhog Day! Oh, Happy yeah, Groundhog Day, everybody! Oh. Happy Groundhog Day! because it's been a long journey of my life but this is by far one of the most eventful exciting and horrible years of my life now here's the thing i truly despised what i'm about to tell you guys but then again i really loved it and it was definitely my favorite year a middle school because it was also very interesting it was super interesting it wasn't boring to go to school because you know you'd go to school hearing some crazy story or having a lot of fun or getting super off topic in math class but that's for the, another video because in this video we're doing well i mean no that's still part of this video okay whatever uh so i'm gonna be describing seventh grade na, 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 na. Duh, duh, duh. but guys it is the seventh grade this is the seventh grade trilogy yeah a trilogy well, is I don't like know if we're gonna need a poppy we're probably gonna need a poppy but we basically we guys if you don't know what a trilogy is it's like say you have like a part two to an episode of a tv show or something maybe all the stuff doesn't quite even fit into the part two you might need to make a part three which could also be called a trilogy yeah okay guys and a few other examples we go i'm just gonna go start him yeah. at the first class of the day yeah. so let's get so, into the bit now so first was homework of course because you always have homework so um okay seventh grade was the first year of the lanyards in my school we have to wear lanyards it's really dumb it's really dumb okay i I, I, I sort of understand the purpose but like why lanyards come on dude it's so annoying no one wears them at all but i wear mine guys we didn't <laughs> like we didn't introduce ourselves okay i'm puddles the gray dog i'm bonnie the bond dog and uh yeah. yeah watch our introduction video for more introductions link below yeah as it okay. always is so let me continue pull a few so one time um my the bottom part of my lanyard fell off so like the id tag and and um my homework teacher comes in with it and she's like the vice principal or assistant principal or whatever she is just viciously handed this to me uh, and, uh, like, viciously hand something to someone like okay. like <sighs> take this and don't come back yeah and i thought that was really funny and my homework was amazing in seventh grade because like i actually had friends in it so that was nice um i think part of the reason i like seventh grade so much was because i actually had friends in my classes moving on to first period the worst period of the whole entire day social studies oh i can't wish it well Dun, dun, dun. Oh, this is probably one of the oh, wackiest sorry, guys, teachers. I just spotted, I just spotted a cookie Where's from the reflection of this. I'm trying to scratch social stuff from the camera. I'm sorry, I'm just eating this cookie. Okay, guys. <laughs> Seventh grade social studies was quite the thing. So we had a wacko teacher. Okay, 
Oh, he God. was really weird. So we'll call him Mr. Weirdo. Um, we just call him Mr. Weird. Um, basically every day we would go in and we would write down the homework, which was always to read, highlight, and annotate a page of a packet, and then make a study guide based on what we took notes on that day in class. Oh, by the way, guys, I that took about seven years to do. Seven years, seven grade. Basically, um, we would always have a ton of homework in that class, and that homework would take a long, long time. And I hated Mr. Weird. So, oh, Mr. Weird. What was this called? Mr. Weird. Weird. Okay, I don't so know. he um also would have us do Harknesses and debates. So a Harkness, and I'm not one to talk in school at all. It no, it doesn't all. happen. It doesn't Shut happen. Up. I just can't. So we in Harknesses, we would sit in a circle and we have to put a thumb up if we wanted to say something in front of the class. But I never put my thumb up. And we're always talking about atomic. Wait, why did I never put my stop? thumb up? Why did it have to be a stop? Because she thinks putting your hand up is too distracting. Oh, yeah. So, I never put up my so thumb. Annoying. But, he said, but he called on me anyways. Because he hates me. So, one time, um, Wait, he called he really me. really hate you? No. Well, oh. but. Yes. No, but I hated him. But he hated, well, he hated that I didn't talk. So, one time I was like, please do not call me, I have nothing to say. And then he called on me, and, well, I didn't actually say don't call me, but he called on me, and I was not prepared at all, and I said something really stupid about railroads. I was like, well, railroads might get in the way and block the south from getting through, or whatever, or the north, I don't even remember. It was the dumbest thing in the world, and then, like, wow, it was so bad. So bad. Oh, uh, wait, about the hardnesses. You got a lot of uh, news from my teacher. Oh though. my god, yeah. this year my teacher goes, I'm gonna observe a hotness from um Mr. Weird's class and we're gonna have a couple hotnesses in here. I died. I died. I'm gonna be absent oh all the time to have hotnesses. Ah. I cannot do I think it in another it, I think it's actually hilarious. It, it is, is not it's funny. funny. And it's going to bring Saturday Night Life with me and you um, with a lot more stories. I was always saying, oh, well, I wish this year was more like seventh grade. This is not what I meant. <laughs> Finally got out of seventh grade with all of Mr. Weird's hot wagon hotnesses. And now, you have to do them all again. He made us do high school packets. What the heck? He went and half, like this. After half of the year, yeah. After half of the year, he was like, okay, we're going to do a high school packet. He wrote down a word from every, like, um, like, put one word down. And there were a hundred different words, right? And these tiny boxes we had to write everything we knew about the one word in that tiny box there were a hundred one hundred and then he made us do it again at the end of the year when there were like a hundred and three at the end of the year we had to do this debate wow. Which is who is the best that president? Was debate. It was the very last debate. It was the last three days of school, I think. Oh my god, this was one of the worst debates I think I've ever had. So, um, I sucked at debates too. You what? I wonder why. I sucked at debates. I oh, was so sucked. bad. I was so bad at debating. Um, so well, basically okay. when it I came to my turn to talk, because this was, debate worked a little differently than the other debates. Um, this debate, usually in debates, we, we raise our thumb and it's kind of like a hawk news. You can just talk kind of whatever you want. Um, but even though Mr. Weff would always call him me anyways. But, you know, in other debates, in other debates, uh, in two other debates, we would go around in a circle to each team and each teammate or member part of a certain question would have to talk for that specific point. 
So I was on the team of George Washington for who knows why. I didn't. I didn't even know why. I was just like, okay, well, I'm just. Gonna okay, go I screen. think you should get to choose what show you were on. You could, but, but like, weren't you? Well, what? some of them. I'm gonna talk about the fossil fuels debate later. Fossil fuels debate. Okay. Like, you should get to choose because, like, I know, but we didn't you always get to have, choose. You barely have any arguments if you're on the wrong side. I know. One time. We, um, I don't care if it's like three people versus the rest of the class. You should still get to choose. I wish it was like three people versus the rest of the class. Now I don't know what to say. Okay, well, one time we had this debate on gun control, but we couldn't just we couldn't um, choose our own teams, and I got put on the side that said we don't need any more gun control. We need less gun laws. Like why? Why? That's not. That's yeah. About like politics and gun control and fossil fuels, but this sounds so wrong and so stupid. Why would they need to have a debate on that? Everyone knows there are Republicans in the world. Knows. There are Republicans. Okay, if we also had this debate on fossil fuels. Now this was the biggest fuels. debate of the year. Meaning we had to like dress what? fancy and stuff. And I have oh, no fancy I... clothes. I'm literally the kind of person who wears. <laughs> The same thing every day. I wear a pair of leggings yeah, and like, a t-shirt like every single day. The amount of times I've seen Bonnie's crew member wear the shirt she's wearing now is crazy. And the pants. Well, this is, these are pajamas. Oh, huh? these are pajamas. So, well, whatever. Whatever. Okay. So I had to dress fancy, so I literally didn't even wear something fancy. Anyways, uh, uh, we were divided into teams amongst our teams, and then our team would have to each come up with points and stuff. One of the members from my team moved in the middle of the debate. He went, it was a two-day debate. On the first oh, day, wow. on the first day, he was there, right? Wow. A week later, when we had part two, because there were so many snow days in between, and then there was an assembly oh, during the yeah. day. Oh, um, a week later, when we had part two, oh yeah, I remember he that. wasn't like, there anymore. He had moved. He moved, like as in, wow. He moved. like goes to a whole other state. Oh, wow. She goes. The thing about the the snow days and the assembly, the assembly. I don't know. That was just coincidence. But the snow days. It actually did snow really hard, and it was really funny. Yeah, there was three really snow days in a row. Yeah, one on Wednesday, one on Thursday, one on Friday. It was just like, what? And then what? part one of the debate was on Tuesday, so we had the Tuesday. And then when we came back on the next Tuesday, we had part yeah, two of the Yeah, the debate. Monday was okay. the assembly. Yeah. It was golden, in my opinion. It was basically It was stressful for me. It was a five-day weekend. Okay, so... Um, there were a ton of parents and teachers and stuff who listened in on the fossil fuels debate, which is why it was so important. And I was on the side, drill, baby, drill. That's what the team was oh, called. Oh my god, I remember that. And the other team, I didn't. We didn't get to pick our teams for this. I was on drill, baby, drill, which I did not want to be on. Meaning fossil fuels were great. We we love fossil fuels. They don't hurt the environment at no. all. We're not killing every ecosystem in the world. No, we're great. And uh, the, the the other team was the green team. Did you ever get a thing like a side in the debates that you wanted? No. Oh, good. Oh, oh wow. wow. That is some great luck right there. My team won the debate. Part of the reason was because of me. I my our points were like what our question was. What other types of energy could we use, or like why can't we use other types of energy or whatever? I don't remember. And then uh, we set our point, and then the other team did not rebuttal our point at all, and they just completely messed that up. I'm so sorry if they're watching this, because I know none of them like talking in debates, mm -hmm. and it was so mean. Mr. Webb put the really shy people against each other, so they would have to talk, and they would have to say, oh god, all the same things, because they put the shy people on one team versus the shy people on the other team. So, like, they would have yes. to say stuff. And it was that's so mean. Okay, well, that's basically the fossil fuels debate. And here's the thing. Mr. Work is really tall. He's really tall. And one time, um, I had missed a day for um, something for my Latin class because I had 
to go to the first period, I had to go take a Latin test. So, um, then I had to come later in the day. I was supposed to go to his class and pick up a poster, but I forgot, and no one reminded me, because, especially him. I literally walked right past him. Like, dude, go. Hey, you have to pick up this thing. Whatever. Okay, so, um, so then I went in the next morning, and I was standing there looking up at him. He's like eight feet tall, and and he hands me the stuff, and I was just dying. I was just so dead. I was like, oh, I have to do, I, I have to take this thing. And he was like, why didn't you come in after school? And I was like, oh, I forgot. And it was just the most awkward thing ever. I'm gonna definitely have more stories from that class. Oh, the gold rush. Okay. Oh. Gold rush. Okay, we're gonna have to put this in a part two. Okay, guys, so we're gonna have to wrap this up. Bye.